starting from there with the flight attendant and there, which is a shock of the size as well as both the pedal, compression and rebound tunings settings that are exactly matching the target bike and also this because the target bike needs those bearings at the end so the goal of the work or the attempt is to remove the piggyback here to migrate the piggyback to this shop by removing and replacing this one and um, while servicing this one because if you want to switch piggybacks you need to service it entirely also remove the piston so that I can swap the piston with that one. So a bit of a challenge, but if all works out, in the end, I should have this shock with the standard um, Super Deluxe Ultimate Piggyback um, and have this one as a flight attendant that will be race ready for the other bikes. Let's look forward and see what can be done. So, finally understood how to switch piggy bags. I had to remove the body of the um, piggy bag of the flight attendant by unscrewing it here. And um, once unscrewed, I could remove this, which is all the system that steers um, the um, tuning of the low speed compression as well as activating the pedal mode and once this is removed i could then remove those two screws and get the picky bat out now it's remounted so i just switched the body and put the two screws on to hold it put this back in place and here um, very very important as you can see here inside we have all the very very precise shims and screws and pistons that do activate um, the various settings on compression and this stack is in a very very precise order so if you just um, disassemble a flight attendant never ever ever um, disassemble this without 
remembering and precisely marking which shim, which um, component is on which place on, on, on the stack. Um, now it's all moved together again. Here we can see that I can turn the screw. Um, and now is the time about starting to reassemble. I'll have two things to look at. One which is how does this then align and, and, and I'm not clear yet if this is um, a rotating until the end or if it is just one small setting and a magnet. But we'll see going forward. Here it is, um, the shorter shock 255, um, reassembled with the bearings at the bottom and most important the piggy bag that was transferred from the flight attendant lower shock to this one. Um, I was able to put the battery in and to perform first tests um, on the shock um, and it seemed to be working pretty well, so now looking forward. Thank you.